and welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Ryan. And I'm Matthew. And boy, do we have a treat for you. I think it might have something to do with this bag boy, behind <laughs> us. So in today's video, we are spending 24 hours in our van. But it's not just any type of van. It's basically a van that we're going to be sleeping in, eating in, and even pooping in. <laughs> <laughs> we are so excited because I know a lot of you guys are new in the last 12 yeah. months. And you probably don't know that we actually own this van. And we go traveling around the UK and hopefully this year a little bit of Europe. And we're taking you guys with us and show you what we're going to be getting up to and including the start of the show. Little Roscoe! He's coming with us he for the next loves it. Hours. <laughs> <laughs> so as we said, we've got our bed, we've got a cooker, we've got everything we need to live in this van, but there's only one thing we need to do. What? Hit the road and head to Weymouth. Oh! So it wouldn't be a road trip without snacks. And of course, a pan of chocolate is our absolute favourite right now. <laughs> so don't forget to make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up make sure you subscribe and turn your notification bell on and it, we actually need to head off now let's go <laughs> at Morrison's it's half past four and, and we've realized we've got no food but I'm gonna go in and get some essentials that we need and we've just realized on here we do our like teas coffees we can we've cook pasta we don't think there's any gas so we're gonna see if they've got a little gas in there if not we might have to try and find one at a petrol station because how are we gonna have coffee we're gonna have to live on like pasta bots oh, God, we can't even have coffee can't even have coffee oh. and while I'm in there babe I'm gonna grab a few essentials for us to snack on I mean, for dinner. We have a little nap. You both can have a little nap. No, babe, you need to find somewhere we're going to stay tonight because we can't stay on the road. It's dangerous. Right, I'll get, I'll get looking. Okay, right, love you. I'll be back in two seconds. <laughs> Your Morrison shopping is here for you. You took ages. Well, babe, I had to get all the essentials. You know what it's like. Ooh, yeah, I've got a face. We have got a face. Yeah. I don't know if I've ever done it. I am. Um, you guys have a lot of food. I can't find anywhere to sleep. Are you joking? <laughs> There's literally nowhere. Babe, we need to get on it. You need to find us a campsite. We have got some fruit. Yay. Well, we can't eat fruit on the side of the road. We might get like kidnapped. Looks like we'll be drinking coffee and staying up all night. No. Then. Right. I'm going to come in and find somewhere. Babe, if you found. Babe, seriously, you, you need to find somewhere. I'm trying. It's not even. Short notice, isn't it? I know. We're, Friday. we're very, very unprepared. Roscoe wants to sleep somewhere cute. Well, it's all right. He's fine. He's, he's comfortable. He, he's sleeping. He's just, he's fine. He'll sleep anywhere. But we're currently looking on Google at places around Weymouth at campsites, but a lot of them still aren't open yet for the season, which is very bizarre, isn't it? Or they literally don't have phone numbers. Oh. So good news, we have found somewhere. So it is a little bit later. The literally the light is actually going. The sun is going, but we found somewhere finally, and it was so stressful. But this place looks so cute. It does look really. Oh, that's a little bit of sun. Look just, at that golden hour. Golden hue. But I think we've just gone past it, so I am going to pull over and do a UE. So as you can tell, Roscoe was very, very concerned as well wondered where we were sleeping tonight but oh that was a mission look at it coming that way no look how greasy my face i literally all do. that stress of trying to find a last minute campsite i need a good like wash um it's always a bit weird as well because when we like stop in the van it's always like it's always hit and miss to know how like the toilet and shower situation is. So it's going to be very interesting. And I'm really hoping there's no like little like midges, like flies and stuff like that. I'm hoping like it's just going to be really, really nice. But I'm so excited to find somewhere new and, and to make up. some new memories. It's going to be so cute. Hi. So it is a sign. It's actually a peacock. Can you? Wow. I don't know if you. As if we've just seen a peacock. That's amazing. Oh, God, that's actually crazy. I've never seen a peacock like that before. It was literally coming out of this road. So this is where we are staying. We're actually staying in, it's called Lion's Gate. And oh, the, they do sell oh, gas here. 
Oh, wait, it's, Yay! Oh, this looks really fancy. This looks a bit too fancy for the price. This looks really cute, actually. It was nice and cheap. Maybe it's because it's last minute. I hope so. <laughs> Just arrived. There was no one here to check us in. So we've claimed this spot right here. And look. These are our actual chairs. Look at the lake. It's so good. So this is what the back. I don't feel like we've shown you guys the back. We will be doing a little van tour later in this video. So do stay tuned. It'll look a bit better than this. This is basically just a bit of a dive at the moment because we have everything everywhere that we need to set up. But look how amazing this view is and how nice it will be tomorrow morning to wake up to. So the plan is we're just going to chill here and have our dinner and drinks. And then there's literally like this little, is it a pond? Would you say lake. pond or lake? Yeah, it's a lake? It's a little lake. How cute is that? And literally this is what's around. There's just a few other kind of like, what do you call them, caravans. And obviously we're the only ones with the van. But it's, and also if you hear the birds, so peaceful. So now we are all settled, I need to wash my face. And basically, obviously, I haven't got my whole makeup kit with me tonight. So I've actually got my little portable mirror and I'm just gonna be using some makeup wipes, which I am very anti makeup wipes. And I'm actually gonna be using you guys to basically be my mirror to make sure I remove all my makeup. Huh? Mr. Me. And Roscoe needs his dinner soon. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna literally position the camera here or my mirror here and then just stand like here and just remove it because that's so glamorous. <laughs> hey, lovely little fella. So it's time to give this little munchkin his dinner. So we actually um, bought his food in this like container where we can literally just put in this cupboard and it'll just like stay um, like here when, oh, why is it not focusing? It'll just stay here basically. And then we've just got him a little bowl um, and we'll like, he'll have his dinner at the front. Good boy. And then that's kind of where he'll like chill really and have his dinner and then like in an hour we'll like just let him kind of come here and like chill or we have his lead and we can actually just um, kind of just, it's like one of those twist things where you can just twist it into the at the grass and then he can kind of just roam because dogs aren't allowed off the lead nor would he come back. Would ya? Is that yummy? It's the deciding factor as if we can have coffee in the morning Fingers because gone. we've got a cooker here and then the little gas tank is just situated here. here. And this is where our pots of pans are. I love how Matthew's explaining this to you, but he actually doesn't, he doesn't ever do it, do you? No, this is your job. Right, but let me I see. don't know. I genuinely don't think it's going to work. I feel like it's not, I feel like it's empty. Well, it was already ready screwed on, we never unscrewed it, which is a good, not really good thing. Can we hear it? <gasps> Something in this gas? Yes. Yeah. Smell it. We've got gas. We've got gas, guys. We can have coffee in the morning. <gasps> Should we just try it quick, just to make sure? <gasps> oh, <I've> got gas. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> now we are going to attempt to open the bed. Right, this is how this it is works. This is the most annoying thing about this van. This actually. is genuinely the worst thing about a van is pulling out the bed because we hate it. Only because ours is like so like temperamental. So this. Oh my god. Right there. As you can see, basically it is a single bed, but we have to slide this out to turn it into like a double bed. Pull that like that. Oh, it's actually quite smooth. And then that, that okay. will come down and be the mattress. Right there. As you can see, there's a lot of like tugging and... It's just because we've got a duvet, like... We're actually that. gonna get rid of the duvet as well and get sleeping mattresses because they take, the duvet literally has to live in the back and it takes up so much room. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> just like that. Cozy. So easy and effortless. Oh, the best night's sleep. I'm genuinely buzzing because I could sleep in here for 12 hours. You have straight. the best night's sleep here. Oh. And for those of you wondering, this is food, this is dinner tonight. So we basically got Moroccan inspired couscous salad, some prawns, oh, protein. For some good protein. Potato salad. We've got coleslaw. We basically have picky bits. Normally, when we go on a longer trip, we would, well, we haven't yet. But we would do pasta and stuff from home, and we we'd take it. We haven't, but we will, we will take it in batch. We normally get pizza and fish and chips. Yeah, we do. Guys. We normally just get pizza and um, fish and, and chips. Also, I have actually 
freezing. I've generally forgot how cold it is in here. It is definitely cold. We don't have a heater in the van and obviously it's still March. So it's basically winter. I can't feel my hands. But it will get warmer. It will get so nice. But now we're just going to eat and chill. It's only seven o'clock in the evening. Oh, and bear in mind, our campsite actually has no Wi-Fi or signal. So um, we have to talk. <laughs> Yay. So we're heading up to the toilet block. We've, We've literally just brushed our teeth. In the wilderness. With this and just basically spat it out. So we spat all of our um, lovely toothpaste on the floor. We had our dinner. And then we spoke. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a good chat, haven't and we? As you could tell, it's a night time. It's really late now. So, but we both need a wee. So we're gonna walk to the, We are probably gonna go for a wee out here tonight. But we thought. Where the lake is, but I really hope there's toilet for. Because I think I need a number two. This is what the toilet block looks like. I mean. It does what it needs to. It's a cute little toilet block actually compared to some of the ones we've been to. Um, so you can brush your teeth, you can obviously wash your hands, dry your hands, um, the boiler for hot water. I mean, it's just standard toilet really. It's very like school vibes, which is kind of cute. But, um, oh God, it's a little bit creepy because I'm on my own. But this is the showers. You've got to pay 20p, which is fair enough. But Ryan's walked back to the camper van now and left me to wee on my own and it's really creepy. So I'm gonna hurry up and wee before I get like killed because I'm scared. <laughs> so I should have got taken into one of these caravans. No one would ever see me again. But it's literally like something out of a horror movie because it's like all trees, moonlight, but like, what's in there? Let's go make Ryan jump. Three, two, one. Did I scare you? No, but he should keep farting. He didn't go for poo. Roscoe, did you not go for a poo? And I didn't go for poo either. It was scary in there, wasn't it? it? Was, I heard, did you come in and make noises? No, no promise. Bible. Bible. Isn't it scary in the toilet? I generally, I generally heard like noises. See, I'm not lying guys, it's scary here. That was creepy, it was a little bit creepy, I'm not gonna lie. We're in the woods, on our own. Manly. <laughs> <laughs> so this has been the night from hell. It was the most, look at him, Roscoe. Roscoe, what is wrong with you? He's been up, he's been down. Someone else is, look at you, waking us up all night Roscoe, haven't you? You've been up and down. Someone here's a little bit grumpy. He's still asleep. Ryan! <laughs> it is now 20 past eight. So we have laid in a little bit, but we have literally been up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It was probably the worst night's sleep I've ever had in the van. After saying how amazing it is to sleep in the van, that was horrendous. But I'm gonna go and take him for a little wee because I think, seeing so you're awake, Roscoe, I think that means you need a wee and it'll probably a little poo, don't you? Now this is what you call a bad morning, the view, the weather. Could we have asked for better weather? Like this is goals. It's actually supposed to be windy today, but for some reason it's, it's not. It's sunny. I think we might be sheltered with all the trees and there's a guy out here fishing, but we're currently making a cup of coffee. Look how cute our mugs are. I don't feel like we ever showed you them. So you see, Matthew, Matthew time, time to, to explore. explore. And fine, time, time to, to explore. explore. So obviously we have one each. I still have yet to um, drop the kids off at the pool, as the saying is. Because you couldn't go, could you? I haven't been for number two in, let, like, in 24 hours, which is definitely not like me at all, so slightly concerned. But we're going to make our coffees and teas. But I feel like living in a van like this, we get in a vibe where we end up loving it and it's really slow i like it's it. really slow it's really chilled so it's nice to unwind but sometimes it's a lot clearer but sometimes it's hard to unwind like i feel like i should be on the go mm. but we are obviously gonna hopefully be going to scotland in like a month's time and we'll be in the van living like this for two whole weeks so we're gonna it's gonna be so good i'm so excited are you excited i'm so excited unless it rains unless it rains that's what we really don't want but it is what it is 
it is what it is. And in Scotland, I don't think every night we'll be sleeping in campsites because sometimes in Scotland there's laybys you can. Like I think if there's, Scotland's a bit different. It's a bit it? more safer, and if there's yeah. other vans and stuff in the laybys, then I would go there. And, and the rules are different in Scotland. Yeah, whereas in the UK, you're not really. No. It's called gorilla camping. You're not really meant to do oh, that. Cold. I think so. Yeah. And then we've got a little granola pot. I've got the chocolate and granola. I've got strawberry. Strawberry and granola, and then we're gonna eat some fruit because we're trying to be healthy while we're How living this van life. How aesthetically pleasing is that when the light hits the... Yeah, that is so nice. How bougie. Ooh, <laughs> but this isn't what van life's always like. Sometimes we just have... A croissant. A croissant, yeah. Or we just go out and get food. The beauty of van life is the fact that we can leave it parked over here and then we can go and explore. Ooh. We can just park up and get out and explore. It's so good. We've actually ended up going to Montague, which is like a little village. It's actually famous for the Montague house. You have to pay £14 each, so we're not going to go in. Because we just think it's not but really worth it. But right behind us, it's just filled with like, Five, cottagey, villagey vibes. So we're basically our home on wheels. We just park up and we go and explore whatever we want. Like it's the best way to feel free. Roscoe's obviously loving life. And again, the weather is just so nice. And I'm gonna quickly sneakily show you this person's garden because it's beautiful. Like I'm just gonna go over the wall. Very, how nice is that with all the flowers that would come up in the summer? It's so cute. Because it's a nice day, everything looks so much better, but like all of this is just full of daffodils and it just puts me in such a better mood. This is what, this is how- no, this Oh, there's an old telephone box all the way over there. It's just really cute and villagey. But we basically have had such bad weather here in the UK the past few weeks. How have we landed on blue skies, it was sun? So lucky. So that is 24 hours in a van complete. Yes. Woo! So we have survived 24 hours in the van. It was so good. I'm so excited for the adventures that 2022 holds in our van. I look disgusting. Look at my hair. Look we at really, my face. We really, really need a shower and we need some mouthwash ASAP. But the best thing about living in, well, actually staying in the van is that you get to explore so many cool places. We actually saw loads of really, really fun like villages, And towns. met lots of cute, nice people. It's so good. But if you did like this video, please give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell. If there's anywhere else you want us to go or if you like more fan content, then leave a comment letting us know because we actually really love sharing like the fan life with you guys. And we love you guys so much and we'll see you next Saturday for another video. Bye! Bye. Bye.